Hi there, birdies. Welcome back to the nest. So today we have a blessing reading and we're going to take a look at what blessings are coming forward until the end of 2022. Uh, I do want to mention that this could be like the start, the seed of that blessing. So for example, if we're talking about love, it could be that you're meeting someone until the end of 2022, but the relationship um, only develops or only becomes officialized in 2023 and moving forward. Um, but this is definitely like the seed, at least, of your blessing until the end of the year okay so today i was feeling very uh well actually yesterday i got this idea yesterday my inner child was feeling very playful and so i brought up some childhood cards this is from a memory game this is from that mimic game and it has like a bunch of um random words and we're going to pull some cards from that and these are going to be our um cards today for you to choose from so for pile number one we have over here a little mouse for pile number two we have a train for pile number three we have a handsome snowman for pile number four we have a duck a rubber duck specifically okay so with that being said have fun <laughs> uh connect with your inner child and let it inspire you but you can choose by these cards if anyone calls if any one of those um calls you can also choose by the timestamps they're going to be down below you can close your eyes and let your inner child uh tell you which one to choose but whenever you're ready i'll see you over there hi there pot number one so if you chose our little mouse you're in the right place let's let's put you right here if yeah great that's awesome so uh welcome to your reading we're gonna take a look at the blessings that are coming in by the end of 2022 and i do in case you jumped the intro that is totally fine if you did but i just want to say that this can be something that is like fully happening uh within the end of the year um but it could also be something that it's like it's starting to blossom within this next month or so and it could like come into full fruition um around next year so let's say for example one of your blessings is love uh this could be that you meet someone within this year yet but the officialization of the relationship could only happen in 2023 for example okay so let's see where we go um again in case you missed the intro my inner child today well actually yesterday was feeling very playful <laughs> and was wanting to play that's why we have here this little card and we have also these little cards uh, with like full of random, um, full of random words um, and expressions. And I'm going to pull four from each deck to see what messages would like to come through. Um, and we can take a little look into the blessings that are coming in. So yeah, let's jump right into it. This is from, this is from a memory game. And these cards are from that um, like mimic, mimic game. It's like you get a card and you have to kind of mimic it um so the other person knows what the heck you're doing <laughs> but yeah and the other person has to try and guess it that's the word that i was trying to find but let's see for pot number one where are the blessings coming in until the end of 2022 Ooh, those are too many what are the blessings coming in all right so we have over here taxi we also have swan I told you they were very, very random. Um, let's see. We also have package. And we have polo. Okay, so something that I'm getting here. Uh, I almost feel like this is like North Pole or something like that. That is something that I'm getting. It could also be referencing to your North Node in your chart. That is your destiny. That is your um, the things that you're supposed to do, supposed to learn in this lifetime. Uh, and the south node on the other hand is things that you have experienced in past lives so i do feel like your north node could be uh very significant here in these blessings that are coming in and i do feel like there's something around like uh something you have been trying to manifest and again it is part of your destiny with that north node um but it is something that perhaps you thought that it was very far away but it's actually not with this one i immediately got like um birth of a child kind of vibe but it doesn't have to be like birth of your child or conception of your child it could be someone near you is getting pregnant and that child or even just like the relationship with that pregnant uh woman or even the 
man in the picture or woman who knows um but like your experience with that couple could also be significant but i do feel like it is especially related with that child that is being born or is being created um and i definitely feel like there's something here around like you're on the right path and things are really developing for you until the end of the year and i do feel like you're yeah and we have i don't, I don't really know the translation oh okay i guess spider wanted to come out but here was like um uh, i don't know the word but it's something to do with lightning <laughs> uh we have spider and it's almost like uh stopping lightning or something but we have spider we also have owl it's so interesting how we have a lot of um a lot of animals here uh we also have slap oh i like this i really really like this can we get one more uh we also have actually i don't know how this is called in oh my god look at that bottom of the deck we have north node uh north node north pole wow that is incredible um but with this this is like those things that spanish um I, I believe it's the women specifically that use it um in like spanish dance they use those things i should know that because i study music but uh anyways i kind of feel like there's something here especially with the slap uh i feel like there's something like you're you're proving you're you're proving other people wrong uh, i feel like there is something that you have been trying to get you have been trying to manifest you have been trying to get through it could have been something very creative and something that really speaks from your heart and with this owl i do feel like it is aligned with your intuition and i feel like other people possibly were doubting you and were like what are you doing like please stop you know like that is not just not gonna work why you're wasting your time with that um and i really feel like you're kind of giving a ritual or like imaginary slap in someone's face it's like honey i did it and especially with the mouse here being your like chosen card uh this could be about like people being very i don't know very suspicious very deceive uh, deceiving with you and having wrong uh hidden agendas and and wrong hidden intentions and i really feel like now you're just vibing on your own and you're really like pushing through and I, i'm getting like a glow up but i don't feel like it's a physical glow up i feel like it's this could especially be around career i feel um and it's like you're having that glow up you could be like getting a lot of money you could be getting i'm hearing acceptance so it could be that you're getting a job or you're getting um your project your product is being accepted you're being accepted into a, a school that you've always wanted to go and i really feel like you're it's just there's this transformation beautiful transformation where there's a lot of independence coming through and this is definitely like a blessing from the universe because you're ready for this you're finally ready to get this manifestation to get this part of your journey into your life you're ready for this new chapter and that's why now they're bringing they're bringing in the taxi right to take you to your destination to take you to this um north pole which i keep wanting to say north node so i really feel like destiny is your biggest blessing um till the end of the uh till the end of the year so let's pull your oracles here to get a little bit more uh i don't know like honest information <laughs> not, this is not honest but uh they're just like random play cards but let's see here what do we have we have safe and happy travel protection from harm when journey i really feel like this could imply like you uh relocating and especially if this is college especially if this is about college um you could be really be relocating and because you're relocating you're getting a lot of independence you're getting it's like you're you're becoming freer you're becoming more joyful you're becoming more in tune with yourself and in tune with your best highest version ever and i really feel like you are just like vibing so high your energy is going to shift hugely so congrats we also have blessed sight with the number we have 25 and 28 and we also have closure wow so i really feel like you're closing a door on someone um and a door on a life i feel like this is bigger than just a person i feel like it's just you're closing a door on a life on depending on others on allowing others to choose the path for you and now i feel like you're just going with the flow you're just going with your um abundance you're just going with your dreams you're going with the things that you want to create and the universe definitely has your back i feel like you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities a lot of like repeating numbers or definitely pay attention to swans owls and spiders that come your way because i feel like those per animals are definitely going to be significant for you uh i also feel like there is something around you getting inspired 
So if you have a travel coming up till the end of the year, you could be inspired to pursue something. So we were talking about like relocating and getting into the new chapter, a package, you know, a, a blessing coming in. That could be like a little later on. If you have a trip coming up, that is the first part of the blessing. That is the first part of the inspiration so you can get into this trip, so you can get into your North Node and into your destiny. And I really feel like that trip is going to um, really inspire you and create a lot of independence, create a lot of abundance, like an abundance mindset. And I really feel like you're going to be very, very happy and very committed to yourself and committed to your vision. So let's see here. And I really feel like I'm hearing like walking alone. But the thing is, even with this taxi, I don't think... Um, it's almost like you could be riding the taxi alone, but someone is driving the, the taxi. So you're never alone in a way, first of all. But I also feel like this taxi is taking you from a place of loneliness where if you are surrounded by people that don't really support you, you're pretty much already alone, right? But I feel like this taxi is kind of taking you from a place where you're um, with people that you're not aligned with and it's taking you to your true soul community and soul tribe. And I feel like you're really meeting people that are not going to make you feel alone and they are fully, truly aligned with you and who you want to be. So um, don't worry about going through this journey alone because you're definitely going to meet a bunch of beautiful, amazing people. So we have over here the chariot. We have the king of pentacles. Definitely. Oh, these are too many, but I'm going to take this one. Oh, and this one also wants to come out. Okay. Um, three of moons, ten of pentacles. Uh, this is the three cups. Let's get one more before I start talking. One more, please. All right. Oh, goodness. We have, yeah, the Four of Cups with the Two Cups. Very, very interesting. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we'll get into that. We'll get into that in just a second. Uh, let me put it here. But I do want to first start by mentioning this. We have the Chariot, the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. This, in regards to career and money, it's like the three best cards that you can get. Chariot is all about success and victory and accomplishing your goals and everything. King of Pentacles is like the king of money. Um, and he's super stable financially. He's super independent. And then we have the Ten of Stars, Ten of Pentacles, which is all about, um, well, it's also about family and long-term commitment, but uh, it is about like inheritance and legacy. And it's about this, unlimited abundance and unlimited prosperity that you have so i really feel like one of the blessings that is that you're getting on that taxi you're getting on that journey to get here to the king of pentacles ten of pentacles so i really feel like a lot of money is coming through um it could take uh, i'm getting like it could take around 10 months tops but it could take like sooner it could take like two months i feel like two months it's for another thing which we're going to talk about but um, in terms of money, it could be that, for example, you're getting on a course, you're getting on a new job, and you're finally like fixed, totally fixed, and you start seeing this money coming in, and you start saving up, and you start seeing your bank account really filled, and you reach this peak around 10 months from now, or around tourist season, depending on um, when you're watching this. Um, but yeah, so with this chariot i do feel like there's like a new beginning that is starting here for you and it's definitely aligned with your purpose and with that north node and you're going to be very very successful at this uh another thing that i do want to mention is before we get into the juicy part <laughs> uh i do want to mention this three cups because this is all about community that thing that we were talking about of you uh getting to know your community and and really getting on that taxi to meet the right people you're i feel like you're possibly going to need um, friends that become family you know this is not just random people that are going to walk away from your life anytime now no they're really going to stick around with you for a very very long time and I really feel like these people are going to matter in your future in a huge way uh, I'm even getting like uh, being your wedding wedding guests and you being their wedding guest you know but I really feel like you're going to be with each other through the thick and thin um, and you're just going to love each other unconditionally and talking about love well we do have the four of cups here and the two of cups uh for some of you i am getting that you could have been in a place of feeling unappreciated feeling like this person 
if you were in a relationship or you were in a uh, like recently uh perhaps you were in a relationship with someone that wasn't truly respecting you and seeing your full potential and seeing all the things that you have to give and i do feel like this person could have been taking you for granted perhaps this is sort of like your history when it comes to people and i really feel like with this two of cups like there is a new opportunity that this is going to be someone beautiful to be by your side i feel like you're going to meet them through this community but we have over here the king and the freaking queen of pentacles and then we have the magician wow so you have been clearly met, been manifesting this person either you know it or not because i feel like for some of you you could be very focused on your finances and career but it's just inevitable that you get this because it's part of the process ace of pentacles and the ten of cups this new person is going to be someone that is going to offer you commitment and you're going to have a beautiful beautiful relationship with again if this is about children for those of you that are already in a very beautiful relationship and that children's situation was um kind of connecting with you was making sense then i definitely feel like you're like becoming parents and you're manifesting a beautiful child that is going to i feel like you're all going to have a beautiful family environment um very respectful very kind very generous as well and very stable very very stable so that is lovely i really feel like your biggest blessings coming in until the end of the year are definitely career wise you're going towards a new journey that is definitely going to inspire you and it's aligned with your north node and you're definitely going to prove someone wrong you're going to meet new people that are going to become amazing friends and um you're also possibly going to meet someone or you're you're meeting someone in a baby form and you're gonna become like super close super connected to one another you have a soul connection with this person and it's going to be lovely so i do feel like the start of all of this is that acceptance is that new beginning in career and then it's going to trigger all of these things and i feel like the first especially the first half of 2023 all of these things are going to start happening and are going to start showing up for you so um you could definitely expect until the end of 2022 some sort of opportunity career-wise that is going to change your life so that's very good let's get here into some final advice on how you can perhaps bring this manifestation a little bit faster uh or this blessing a little bit faster what you guys would like you to know and advise you on when it comes to these blessings so we have chameleon soul tribe look at that it is safe to be seen yeah and we also have cranes to render let go of limiting beliefs be as expensive expensive in your thoughts as your soul is so if there's anything still stopping you from putting yourself out there from believing in yourself as well i feel like you do have someone here that again it's very sneaky and it's very like trying to make you question yourself and make you question your talents and your gifts and i feel like you may need to pull away a little bit from that person and start to listen a little bit more to yourself and starting to reframe your mindset okay so what are the beliefs that you want to have about yourself and start becoming that person start saying those things okay so you can do this through affirmations um you can also uh, i do feel like environment is a big role in our manifestation so if you feel like you're not in a very safe environment try to touch yourself as big and as well as you can um if you know you're living with your parents and your parents are the issue and you don't really have the financial stability to move out then it's about like spend less time with them uh create more distance between you and them stop sharing these things with them you know whoever you don't feel comfortable with whoever you don't feel like you vibe with on a true physical and spiritual level then perhaps that is that person or those people are not part of your soul tribe okay so just keep that in mind and know that your soul tribe is definitely like watching you it's definitely um wanting to connect with you and they're like ready they're ready for you so whenever you're ready go towards new beginnings and put yourself out there all right also i'm hearing like routines and habits um that could also help you in getting into connection with these new people so for example you really love working out but you also work but you always work out at home perhaps try or think about uh working out outside in like outdoor gyms if you can't afford um a gym membership if you can't afford a gym membership then i feel like that could definitely be beneficial for you um if you want to put yourself a little bit more out there and you want to meet new people go work to a cafe if you are able to do that or try to incorporate a little cafe moment or park you know uh going to the park 
in like after work or in the morning so you can see people and people can see you more than you seeing people is people seeing you because there is someone this is not about you like approaching these people and you forcing things these things are just going to come natural to you okay it's just about listening to your heart listening to that gut feeling of like ah you know what today i feel like going to the park go to the park there could be someone there that is like oh you're too much okay it could be this queen king of pentacles okay and i really feel like it's going to be lovely um for you to get to know this person we uh, by the way we have incredible um earth energy here taurus virgo capricorn and we also have a bunch of water um cancer pisces scorpio okay so those could be some significant signs for you and yeah I think that's it, panel number one. So I hope this resonated. I hope it excited you for the rest of 2022 and the upcoming 2023. I can't believe that we're already like at the end of the year. Oh, goodness. But uh, I wish you a wonderful one. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading, please smash the like button for me uh, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Um, and if you're interested in the power reading, the link is also going to be down below. And you can also check out my other channel, The Sunny Virgo, for Zodiac Cusp and Zodiac Sign readings, okay? So, I love you very much. I wish you the best, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hi there, pal number two. Welcome to your reading. So, if you chose the little train, you're in the right place. Let's put you here. Uh, with this card, the first thing that I heard was the um, uh, Ariana Grande song, Boyfriend. I'm a motherfucking train wreck. I don't want to be too much. I don't want to miss your touch. So, that could be significant for you. Um... And I'm kind of getting that perhaps you're kind of going through some transition, especially when it comes to your personal relationships, perhaps love. Um, and it's like, I feel like you're, first of all, I feel like you're doing better than you think. But I also feel like there is someone here that perhaps is making you feel unappreciated and is making you feel um, or was making you feel like you were <clears throat> too much. And I feel like, oh, and my throat chakra is acting up. <clears throat> So I kind of feel like perhaps this person even kind of stole your voice. You know, perhaps you weren't allowed to be yourself, fully yourself. And it could be that you're kind of freeing yourself, your blessing until the end of the year. So you're freeing yourself, you're just owning who you are, and you're not afraid to be yourself. So um, that is something very good. Before we get into your reading, uh, in case you missed the intro, my inner child today was feeling very playful. And so I decided to bring forward some like childhood cards. Uh, this is from a memory game. And I also have here some cards with full of random words um, that are from like that mimic game. Um, and I wanted to pull a few cards from these and see what kind of shows up and get started with those messages for your blessings until the end of 2022. And also, um, oh Jesus, um, these blessings could be that they start now and only fully come into realization uh, in 2023 but it could also be something that is happening right now okay so just keep that in mind but we're gonna see what shows up and if that message comes forward then we'll talk about it so we have uh, here we have dynamite we also have i never know the name of this um we have i believe is it goose i don't know possibly not possibly um who's close <laughs> it's who's or hose i don't know uh but it's nothing that you uh what are your plans with? Well, sort of. Not the kind of bucket thing, but the other thing. Anyways, we wow, we have a lot of things like related with gardening. We also have, um, oh goodness. Oh, this is very hard for me because these are complicated words. Have a rake. I would never go there. Um, but apparently we have a rake. We also have microscope. All right. So I definitely feel like you're kind of, you have been planting some seeds. I feel like you have been planting some really good uh, opportunities, some really good new beginnings, but I feel like they weren't fully blossomed. I feel like those new beginnings, perhaps you thought that they were all in your mind and they would never come into reality. I feel like they have been growing, but they have been growing underneath the earth, you know, because whenever you plant a seed, the seed starts growing underneath and then we start seeing some sprouts. And so I do feel like you're being able to, like your blessing until the end of 2022 is that you do start to see those sprouts. And I even feel like with dynamite also coming through, it's like, um, I don't know, if you looked really, really closely, you would be able to see that sprout. And it's almost like 
you go, you, you're watering your plants, right? And then you, you go and you do your things and you come up the next day and it's like fully blossomed and it's, everything's happening all at the same time. So this is either like a bunch of manifestations and a bunch of blessings coming through by the end of the year, but it could also be that one particular blessing. So let's say you're starting your own business and you have been planting that seed, right? You have been taking the steps for it. Um, it's almost like you were planting that seed and you have been trying to grow and grow and grow. And maybe you were like looking into the little things and it always seemed like, ah, this is such a small development. Why aren't things moving forward? And I feel like by the end of 2022, one of your blessings, like all of a sudden your business blows up and you're having like a hundred orders, orders in a day, you know, everything is happening really, really fast. And I really feel like it is because you have been watering your garden. You have been watering your, um, your plants and your dreams and they are now really coming into reality and it's so interesting that we even have a train because like trains are pretty fast so I, I really feel like things are about to speed up at a crazy level and I don't think you see it coming so we also have tissue we have piano what else do we have here oh goodness okay we have blenders and wave okay So what I'm looking oh, and look at this, we have, um, I'm, I'm hearing heartbreak specifically when it comes to the translation. And I do feel like there is something here around, I feel like your emotion, especially with the wave and the piano, it's like, you may have been very nostalgic, you may have been very, I don't know, like very connected with your heart and not really knowing where to take forward your emotions, your hormones, I'm getting hormones specifically, they could have been a big mess and your emotions in hand were a big mess and with tissue possibly shedding a lot of tears um i'm even getting with these blinders things like you may have been closing yourself out a little bit from the world and i feel like now i, I feel like this is going to give you a renewed kind of confidence and from that i feel like you're going to start feeling a little bit more like yourself and i feel like you may start putting yourself a little bit out there and even if this is for example not about a business and it's just like about self-love you have been trying to do affirmations you have been trying to journal and meditate or you know whatever eating healthier starting to exercise whatever um you started doing in terms of self-care and self-love it felt like it wasn't doing much but it actually is and i even get that you may um started hearing compliments or i feel like you start hearing compliments from yourself more than anything and that then is going to shift everything and everything is just going to come rushing back in because you're such in an attractive energy and people and energies and situations, opportunities, they're really going to be uh, attracted to your energy and they're just going to be flooding your gates. So this is something really good. And I feel like the, I feel like this wave is also like a little bit of advice. It's like, just try to ride the wave, okay? Try not to be so hard on yourself and try to just go with the flow and try also with this piano i'm getting like try to express yourself in some way because that could be very beneficial for you and can bring you a lot of positive energy so be it through music literally be it through um that journaling that we were talking about through exercise through dance i feel like anything that helps you connect with your self and with your self-love that is really going to help you out to become better and to be more to become more and i really feel like your confidence is about to like skyrock uh here so that's really really positive let's get here into your oracles to get a bit more um information about this and then we'll pull some tarot we do have avocado with wings fantastic good fortune and lucky chances look at you we also have prosperity a prosperous business with riches and success what did i tell you i really feel like if you own a business your business is about to take off in a huge incredible way i really feel like you don't see this coming uh we also have divine connection oh boy we have confidence oh man i re i should do this more often my inner child knows her shit. uh and we also have clarity i really feel like you're finally seeing yourself for who you are you're remembering who you are i feel like that is your biggest blessing until the end of the year you're remembering who you are and that is going to be noticed in your career which is going to become very prosperous in your personal relationships i really feel like you could be meeting someone new um or i even feel like you've had like for example a little argument some sort of falling out with someone that could be resolved but i definitely feel like you're no longer taking any shit. you're no longer taking any um toxic 
uh, lower vibration kind of energy. You know, I really feel like you're just flowing and, and flying so high and you're just like beaming. You're a beam of light. You're really getting into this place of she's even holding like a, a sparkly, um, I don't know, just like bright flower, you know, and I feel like that is you. That is your heart. You're really like expanding and you're just like becoming really clear on what you want. You're becoming really clear on your goals and things are just about to speed up like crazy. So I, I feel like this dynamite is really the key here. It's like your life is about to change in a crazy, crazy way. I'm hearing a month. So yeah, it could definitely be until the end of the year. If you're watching this more towards the end of December, for example, um, perhaps it's like January is also going to be significant. But I really feel like in a matter of a month, things could just like shift in a huge, huge, incredible way. All right, so let's pull some tarot here. And it's so beautiful that we have here number eight because that is the number of personal power. So in abundance, but especially personal power. I feel like that is your biggest blessing. Personal power, overcoming, oh my God, overcoming uh, heartbreak, overcoming disappointments, just very beautiful energy. So yeah, we have temperance. We have the ace of cups. Let me see if this, yeah, it's a picture. What else we have for my pawn number twos? We have the Six of Pentacles. Let's get two more. We have the, which way do we want to go? I actually think, okay. Uh, the Page of Stars, Page of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. I'm actually going to take the two interpretations for the Page of, of Pentacles. Because I do feel like there is someone or something here that is just not working. And it's like you're no longer dealing with page energy. You're only wanting to deal with higher vibration energy. And not that pages are lower vibration, but um, I do feel like I do feel like you're connected with a bigger, higher energy. And I feel like anything that is not that is just going to kind of be kind of pushed away from your life. That could again, that could have already happened. And so it's like you're just dealing with the pain, just you're dealing with the pain of having that situation kind of cut out from your life. Um, and it's always painful. It doesn't matter if it's low vibration, if it is high vibration, it's always painful because that person or that situation was part of your life. And it's always hard to let things go. And I feel like right now you're dealing with those consequences, but what's coming forward is so much better, so much bigger, so much brighter. And it's brand new. I, I really feel like... Um, when it comes to love, this person is nothing like you've experienced before. I feel like this is someone that is truly aligned with you. Uh, I'm kind of getting divine counterpart energy. So it could be like a higher level of soulmate. I'm not really getting like twin flame vibes, um, if you resonate with that term. But I am getting like divine, like life purpose, uh, life purpose, life partner. You know, someone that you can truly rely on. Someone that is going to be with you through a, a, like a very long amount of time. You possibly have past lives together if you resonate with past lives. And I do feel like this is going to be a beautiful new emotional um, beginning for you. You may have to cut some people off, but I feel like um, that is just going to come in a very natural flow and in a very natural way. And I really feel like you're no longer being taken advantage of. You're very clear on how you want to be treated. You're very clear what you want and you're not gonna take anything less than that. And I also have here, bottom of the deck, we have this seven of pentacles. So there's that thing of like, you have been planting some really good seeds and now they're blossoming. And now very soon you're going to be able to reap the rewards. And then again, we have like a week, a month kind of time frame, temperance energy, which is Sag season. So that is definitely December. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you, if you meet someone in December, if your business takes off in December, I wouldn't be surprised at that at all. Um, but again, depending on when you're watching this, consider a week, a month timeline and man, I feel like, I feel like you're just going to be so, I mean, I'm hearing like queen you're, or king, whatever, but it's like very like, I don't, I don't know, just very like self-love kind of vibe, you know, feeling very proud of yourself and like no one can stop me. And it's that confidence, you know, it's like you rock, you rock and you're getting that bad B kind of energy, you know? So you go, pile number two. I'm really proud of you. Um, so yeah, I also feel like with this page of pentacles, there is a curiosity to you. So it could be that with your business or with your career, you're getting a bit more creative 
and curious and you could try a few different things and those things are actually going to work really well for you so yeah let's finish this off with some advice from your guys when it comes to these blessings um if they have anything to say about bringing these blessings a little bit faster but i feel like the, this is pretty fast already <laughs> but let's see what we have we have llama soul growth yeah growth is never easy have faith and trust in the journey that person that relationship that situation it had to go it had to end because it just wasn't aligned with you you know and i really feel like now you're growing your energy your vibration is becoming higher you're really being able to be in your best place and someone at your same level is going to come forward and it's like i feel like the worst part is over to be honest i feel like you've already overcome that mountain and now you're able to go on with your journey and really find like a smooth sailing journey and no more tissues are going to be needed no more sad songs with the piano i'm getting sad songs <laughs> you know uh so i really feel like you're just riding new waves and oh man i'm so proud of you okay we also have bear you are the light it is safe to step fully into your light so there we go another confirmation uh also with the we were talking about blenders and you being a little bit closed off i really feel like that confidence is already with you it's already within you and don't be afraid to kind of put yourself out there i'm even getting like don't be afraid to <laughs> that's nice uh I, I never thought i would suggest this but um don't be afraid to go into like dating apps or even dm people on instagram talk to strangers to kind of get your mojo back you know it doesn't mean that something is going to happen with those people but it's just um gain your power back you know take your power back and it's like you know what i find you cute i'm going to compliment you you know even if it is like people of the same sex uh or someone from the opposite sexual orientation that you're into what i mean with that is like if you're gay don't be afraid to um talk to people from the opposite sex without even having the intention to have something with those people you know um if you're straight don't be afraid to talk to the same sex and and just be like for example you're a woman just be like girl you look freaking good today you know don't be afraid to say that don't be afraid to compliment other people because um especially with the six of pentacles when you give you receive as well and you're putting out to the universe this energy of you know what i have so much that i'm willing to give and i really feel like don't be afraid to compliment yourself as well but i really feel like you connecting with other people and you putting yourself a little bit out there could really um boost your confidence and give you this like jush of emotion and and jush of just ah, i'm the baddest you know and i really feel like that could speed things up a little bit and perhaps even meeting this person who knows but yeah lots of good stuff happening here for you really fast which is great to see um so yeah i feel like a lot of balance is coming into your life and i feel like your biggest blessing is self-love and confidence because then that is going to affect the rest of your life career and also personal relationships so that is lovely pot number two this is what i have for you i hope it resonated hope it helped if it did don't forget to smash like button for me and to subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you here you can also check out the link below for a prior reading or uh my other channel the sunny virgo for zodiac cusps and zodiac sun readings okay so with that being said i love you very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one bye bye hi there pound number three so if you chose our little snowman guy uh or person i don't know it could be it could be a snow woman or a snow person but welcome into your reading today we're going to take a look at your blessings for the end of 2022 and my inner child was very feeling very playful and i decided to bring in my memory uh cards my memory cards from the memory game um from my childhood and also these cards from like that mimic game um and we're gonna pull some messages from here they are filled with like really random words and we're just gonna see where it goes but one thing that i'm picking up on is i was hearing bubbles because there's like these snowballs and i was hearing bubbles so i feel like for some of you this could be a confirmation that this is your pal if you have a pet um called bubbles i was hearing that specifically but it doesn't have to be of course because that is very specific but i am picking up on like with this snowman i was hearing that song obviously of 
it's frozen so you want to build a snowman so i do feel like your inner child is very active and very present at the moment they could even bring us forward with some messages through the, throughout the reading but i feel like your inner child really wants to play and so it could be that your blessing for the end of 2022 is that you're bringing a lot more play and a lot more fun into your life and you're gonna have a blast <laughs> so let's see where we go with this shout out to my portuguese people because these cards well i'm portuguese <laughs> so these cards are in portuguese but let's see so we have jacket we also have um turbot i don't know if that is the word but let's pretend it is we also have old yeah i'm definitely hearing like um speed and then we have vent ventriculus. I don't know if that is the word, but um, I'm feeling too lazy to go look it up online. But uh, it's like those people that have the puppets and the they they talk through them. Uh, but yeah, we also have floor. I don't know why I, I usually don't do this, but um, I'm pulling all the cards first. So yeah, but we have weak. We have, oh, uh, I'm hearing the word specifically. And we also have drink. All right. So, I'm kind of feeling like you're checking yourself out. <laughs> you're chickening yourself out and you're like not doing something out of here. And I feel like you perhaps are getting into a more playful place since we get, did get that message from your inner child um, of playing and just having fun. And I feel like you're kind of getting into this place of, you know what, F it, I'm just gonna do it, you know? And I feel like you have been perhaps letting fear take the, re the, the, the control here because I feel like you were kind of trying to protect yourself from falling to the ground. I feel like you were trying to protect yourself from getting into a place that you don't want to be there again. You were trying to avoid getting yourself into the rock bottom again. So there is some sort of situation here that you have attached to rock bottom. This could be love uh, and you're afraid of loving again and just getting your heart broken. Um, just, um, that is a very awful experience. But um, I also feel like you could be afraid of putting your art out there, whatever art is for you. You know, it could be just your voice, just your opinions. It could be literally creative work. It could be just putting your ideas, your projects, your your uh, visions for your business or for your company out there, you know, uh, for whoever you work with. And I feel like that could be like the fear of, pre of preventing yourself from doing that. You're doing that because I feel like you're afraid of being rejected. I feel like you're afraid of things not working out and you just, I don't know, not getting into the right place. I also feel like you could be afraid of applying to something because you're afraid that you, you're too old. But I actually feel like whatever you're trying to do, um, you're actually not too old for it because I actually feel like you have some sort of wisdom to you. It doesn't matter what age you are. It could just feel like you could be 20 and feel, oh, you know, if I wanted to be a dancer, I should have started dancing when I was four. You don't. You really don't. And I really feel like you have a wisdom and a power and a will, a determination to you that is really going to get you there. So, and especially with reward here, um, I really feel like you're going to be rewarded with facing, by facing your fears. And I even feel, I, I'm getting for some of you, this is about some, asking someone out on a date and you're afraid of rejection. And you could be a little bit drunk. <laughs> And I actually feel like because with this, like the puppet thing, it's like someone takes over you. And in this case, I feel like you could be drinking um, and something just takes over. You just you just call that person. You just text that, text that person and you just ask them out something around those lines. But I actually feel like, again, reward is going to be very beneficial for you. So I feel like you're really going to have a fun time because it's going to be quite frightening facing these fears. But it's going to be so freaking rewarding. And I feel like if you can get yourself into this place of, you know what, I'm just going to enjoy the journey. I'm just going to see where it goes, not take things too seriously and just have fun. If it doesn't happen, it's because it's not meant to happen. You know, if it doesn't work out, it's because something out there is better for me. Um, if you can get yourself into that place, I feel like you could be um, really rewarded and you could really be on a very good um be with very good energy and on a very good path okay so don't be afraid just do what you want essentially but let's get here easier said than done but let's get here into more specific things and pull some oracles for you and then we're going to pull some uh tarot so we have here labyrinth raising your energetic vibration alignment 
heck yeah. We also have big picture, number 23. We have animals and oh, we have manifestation. Nice. So, oh, and, and didn't I mention like a pet called Bubbles? <laughs> it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't have to be called Bubbles, but um, it could just be that a pet could be significant for you and it's really going to help you out with something. I'm not really sure how, but it, I feel like it's going to be, it could be like a source of inspiration. It could be a good source for you to ground yourself as well, but also in terms of signs and synchronicities, especially attached to these manifestations, because I feel like what you have been, um, what you're afraid of is actually something you're manifesting and trying to bring into your life. And so that fear is actually not protecting you. It's preventing you from getting into that manifestation, you know? And I really feel like once you start to understand that those ideas, those energies, those situations, those people are coming into your life because you're ready for them. Um, I feel like everything starts becoming a little bit easier because you start understanding, wait, if this person is showing up in my life and I want to ask them out, probably it's because I'm, I'm ready to ask them out and I'm ready to live whatever I'm supposed to live with this person, even if it is rejection. I'm supposed to live rejection with this person because that way I can move on and go into something better, go into something new, you know? But I really feel like it's not gonna go there. <laughs> you know, I really feel like it is aligned with you for a reason. And it could be, again, reward. It could be that it's going to take you in a very positive path and it's going to unlock a new door of beautiful energy. And I feel like you're just gonna have so much fun. I feel like this person could really make you feel very comfortable and very happy. Um, if you're not really like considering asking anyone out, I feel like you could meet someone that way. Um, or you could meet someone that has that energy. They are very, I feel like they're very funny. They're very sweet. They're very gentle. And I feel like you're just going to get really drawn to them, but you could have this instinct of pushing them away at first because of that fear. But I feel like you guys are asking you, please don't. Okay. Because this is a blessing. This is the blessing reading. So that person is a blessing. Okay. And it is a manifestation. So don't be afraid to go unlock that door and step into that new um, into that new way because even with this old energy here is like and it's so interesting how now old is lining up with weak it's like um your old stories your even the old people that you were attached to or old situations if this is career wise i feel like they they're weak you know they're not aligned with you anymore because you're raising your vibration you're getting into a place of alignment and so you're ready for new things so I really feel like a bunch of new open doors are showing up for you, has a blessing until the end of 2022. And pay, definitely pay attention to animals because I feel like they're going to help you out a lot. And essentially, your blessing is that you're finally going to be able to face the fear and submit your work. Ask that person out, get into love. Allow your, allowing yourself to get into love, to fall in love, to know new people, you know? Uh, allowing yourself to share your voice, share your story, share your opinion. You know, I feel like you're allowing yourself a lot of things and that is going to, in hand, kind of help you connect with the, like, major blessings, you know? So, let's see here. Let's pull some tarot to see, to see what else um, comes up. And uh, with this, um, I was kind of feeling something about speed. I really feel like things are about to speed up a lot for you and they cannot speed up if you don't allow them to speed up. So it's essentially what we have been saying. By you facing your fear, you're allowing blessings to come in, but you're also allowing blessings to come in at a huge speed. Okay, so um, try to enjoy it. Okay, try to enjoy it. I'm hearing like, see your life has a book where it's like at any moment, or it has a book that you, that you are writing. It's like at any moment you can rewrite and you can choose a different path for yourself you can choose a different chapter you know something like that there's something like that let's see oh my we have the ten of pentacles we have judgment heck yeah you're definitely a lion here this is beautiful we have the nine of pentacles we have the ten of wands i feel like you may have been struggling with this possibly since um september or it, it could have even been like seven months ago something may have ha may have happened um 
seven months ago, uh, seven months ago, did I say seven? Uh, I meant to say nine, but perhaps seven months. But uh, I feel like you have been struggling with this fear situation, perhaps for some time, but I really feel like you're letting that go. I feel like you're kind of lowering your guard a little bit and you're allowing yourself to at least see the options that are available for you. And again, I do feel like for some of you, this is definitely love. Um, I feel like for others of you, this is career-wise and you're just allowing yourself to experience new things and to, uh, again, I, I keep hearing submit your work. So whatever that means to you, but it could be like applying for a new job. It could be submitting your music to a record label. It could be, it could be just anything, you know? Um, and what were we talking about like dancers? It could also be like applying to, um, applying to a school or applying to, I do feel like there's something about like learning as well, especially for dancers, if that resonates. But um, yeah, I do feel like you're allowing yourself to at least see what happens. And I do feel like your expectations are gonna be really low. So when things actually turn up, uh, turn up into your favor, you're gonna be like, oh shit, I did not see that coming. What is happening here? You know, and I feel like you're just gonna be really happy. I feel like you're gonna be a little bit shook at first and wonder like, is this really happening? This has to be a dream. Please wake me up. Um, but, or please don't wake me up. But I, it's not a dream at all. Uh, in regards to love, I do feel like you're in a very independent place and I feel like the love that is coming in, I feel like it is, and this could also be like a new stage in your love life, but I feel like there is a lot of independence that comes forward while you're having this beautiful bond with someone. And I really feel like with this 10 of ones, you're finally letting go of the past. You're finally letting go of anything that was kind of bringing you down, right? You're letting go of the old. We even have the five of cups here. So it's like you're letting go of what no longer serves you, of what is holding you back and preventing you from pulling your, putting yourself out there and it's no longer aligned with you. And because of it, um, it's like you just have to snap your fingers and boom, it happens. Maybe not that, <laughs> maybe not that, that specifically, but um, yeah, I really feel like things could happen very fast for you the second you start putting yourself out there. Okay, so have fun, please have fun. I really feel like you having fun and you being your most authentic version and just like connecting with your soul, connecting your heart and allowing yourself to put yourself out there is really going to bring you this, um, this blessing. So I really feel like you're going to, essentially your blessing until the end of the year is that you're going to feel very confident or maybe not confident. I feel like you're going to feel brave I feel like you're going to feel courageous to face your fears and by facing your fears you actually get a manifestation that um, you've always been wanting and you've always been craving for and I really feel like you have perhaps been working this again for a very long time for some of you perhaps since September for others since um, nine to seven months maybe even years but I really feel that during this next you know until the end of the year you could really put the past in the past and find that new door towards a new way of living, towards a new energy in your life. And I really feel like you are gonna have a lot, a lot of um, options and possibilities for you, all right? So let's get here some advice. Um, what do I wanna say? Let's get some advice from your guides about these blessings and perhaps even how you can bring these blessings a little bit faster or, or something like that. Also, um, that thing of, I'm hearing 10 days. So that thing of like uh, being brave and facing a fear, it could happen within 10 days or something. Or not within, well, yeah, within 10 days, but it's like these next 10 days, I feel like they're going to be critical for you um, in a positive way, of course. But it's like, if you can during these 10 next days, facing fears, do something new, just put yourself out there. I really feel like that is going to change your life and it's going to allow um, until the end of the year, well, if you're watching this in like 31st of December, <laughs> perhaps it's a little bit complicated, but the beginning of your year could also be significant. Um, but I really feel like these next 10 days are really going to be a great time for you to put yourself out there and to change your whole life, okay? So please put yourself out there during these next 10 days. Uh, but let's get some advice and some messages on how you can bring these blessings faster or just anything that you guys want you to know about this. So we have Leaf Counter and Army of Life, ask for help, seek support, you are not alone. 
and we also have Lady Bird. Look, all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. Again, you are manifesting like crazy. They have been heard. That manifestation, I really feel like for some of you, you're trying to manifest new love. Um, and that manifestation has been heard, okay? Or again, trying to manifest a new beginning in love. Um, but anything that you have been manifesting, it's happening. It's here. You just have to face that fear to get it, okay? Because the universe can give you as many options and or as many opportunities as you want. But if you don't take them, it's the same thing as the universe not giving you shit, okay? So I really feel like and if you need a little bit of a push to get yourself out there, do it. Ask for help. And I'm getting kind of wing wink person kind of vibe so if you if you like you want to go to the club and you want to hit on someone or uh wasn't it with you that was like asking someone out on a date um don't be afraid to kind of i don't know you're all in the same party and you kind of ask for your wing person to just give you a little push and just start the conversation or something you know don't be afraid to ask for help um this could be like someone you have a crush on and you feel like they are totally unattainable unreachable and they're actually not they're actually not at all, okay? Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to ask for support. I'm also getting, don't be afraid to ask for signs, uh, especially when it comes to animals. So um, your guides, if you ask for a sign, like, am I on the right path? Should I do this? Should I do that? Um, if I should, show me this. Um, definitely don't be afraid to ask for that sign because your guides are going to be showing you that, okay? And that that sign is definitely going to be aligned with your manifestation because again you're doing it and your guides want you to have it okay so pile number three this was lovely i hope it resonated and it helped if it did um don't be don't forget to subscribe and to smash like button for me if you want to check out the links uh, the link below for private reading definitely do so and you can also check out my other channel the sunny virgo for zodiac cusp readings and zodiac sign readings um and that's it so i love you very much i wish you the best and i'll see you in the next one bye bye hi there pal number four is welcome to your reading so if you chose our little duck you're in the right place let's put you here and let's see what is the blessing that is coming forward until the end of the year i do want to mention that this could be something that is like is starting now and developing or being created now but it could only be but it could be only fulfilled um or it could be fulfilled only, gosh, grammar, it could be fulfilled only in 2023, okay? But it could also be something that is just, boom, magic, and it just happens in your life until the end of the year. Uh, I am getting with this duck, like, a lot of peace, a lot of self-care and everything. So let's see where we go with that. We are going to start with some really random words that I got from these um, cars there from a Mimic game my inner child was feeling called to pull some playing cards so let's see what shows up and we'll get some initial mes messages from that uh we have uh sparkling uh we also have goalkeeper we have uh ladder it's so interesting because i really feel like there's something about like you shining Oh, oh my god and then we have attractive so yeah you're very attractive and not only physically but that too as well um but i really feel like your energy is very attractive right now and i really feel like you're spark sparkling and i even feel like sometimes you may have felt that you always had to kind of keep your uh like look behind your so shoulder to see what is happening there and if it was safe and i really feel that you've always been in, in a kind of a defensive energy but now I feel like you're ready to get into attack, you know, um, in a good way. It's like you're ready to put yourself out there because I feel like perhaps you had some people maybe bringing you down or that it was just like some limiting beliefs that were creating, uh, created in you and were imp input in you, in your mind. And now I feel like you're really overcoming those beliefs and you're like, man, no, I'm a hot badass and I'm going to get what I want, you know? So I feel like you're feeling very courageous and you're just going to snatch what is yours and that is definitely going to help you get that blessing so yeah let's see here should we take all of these no okay yes we should okay so yeah i definitely feel like we have here um copy i feel like there is someone that was trying to bring you down and was trying to um i don't know like make you feel like you were not enough and perhaps we're trying to 
be someone that they were not perhaps even like a fake friend or something um but i am getting that this could even be you you know you were trying to perhaps be someone that you're not and you were trying to um copy someone that you really admire and while that is good it's also it's like it has to be done with moderation you know because you can copy someone's um habits you know because they are healthy and you see that those habits are making that person very healthy and very happy so you can try them but it doesn't mean that it's going to work with, with for you and with you you know and i really feel like it is something that you're going to kind of review and look at until the end of the of the year and well perhaps until the end of the month depending on when you're watching this but um perhaps until the end of the month and then until the end of the year you're actually able to get into a new place and to get into this new vibration into new habits into a new persona into who you truly are you're getting into your most authentic self and that is the best blessing that you can have but um i also feel like there's something here around well not to mention we have here like we have sparkly we have ladder so you're climbing up the ladder you're very attractive you have eyes so definitely someone has an eye on you be it a company be it a person um whatever it is someone has an eye on you and i really feel like that energy is going to come forward I do feel like there is an offer coming forward and I feel like you may even want to put it to bed and you may want to kind of let it go and not really trust it and push it away. Oh no, this is not for me um, because it's not aligned with like what I'm supposed to be doing, but perhaps it even is, you know, perhaps it is part of your path. And I do feel like you're kind of writing, we have here chalk, I feel like you're writing your own story and you're not afraid to... I feel like one of your blessings is that you're not afraid to make mistakes. You know, you're, I feel like you're just becoming your own version. You're becoming your best self. And with that, I feel like you're going to go through trial and error and, and see what happens. But that is going to be a very enlightening and growing experience. And I really feel like you're going to be um, going at a faster pace, climbing this ladder. Rather, if you were doing the opposite, if you were just trying to copy other people. You know, because I feel like it would be slowing you down. And I really feel like now you're ready to kind of just burst with um, authenticity. I'm also hearing creativity and you're just like fully being yourself. You're getting into the spotlight, essentially. And that is one of your biggest blessings because because then it's going to allow you to... Um, it's going to allow you to achieve a lot more and to get even more. So I feel like your biggest blessing until the end of the year is definitely your biggest, best, most authentic version, which is a hottie by the way okay you're a hottie own it <laughs> so let's see here let's pull some to oracle um to get some more information and see where we go with this let me just put this aside i also feel like there is something um around like the old you uh, this is very dramatic but it's like the old you is dying and a new version is boiling up and coming up to the surface all right but let's see where we go um we have perseverance 33 amazing uh the motivation to keep going despite the odds so you're definitely in line with your manifestations and you're bringing them in we also have dragonfly you bring light to this world so there's that thing of like you shining brightly and you being your best most authentic version wow we have a lot of cards for you um but it, you're definitely shining brightly we also have heart healing which i am going to keep in the reverse because i feel like this is essentially talking about how you're done with a very tough chapter of healing of overcoming obstacles and trying to push through and trying to figure yourself out uh, i'm also hearing um physically you may have been having some issues i was actually picking up on on diet before which was um i kind of feel like you may admire someone quite a lot and that person was doing a specific type of diet and with diets it's very complicated because not everything is for you and not every diet is going to work with you you know and i feel like you're starting to understand that moving forward and that is also part of your blessing and because of it your body is healing you're feeling more confident and you're finding something that really aligns with you and really um, aligns with your goals with your health goals with your body goals and i feel like that is going to require you again to kind of step out of this place of uh copying every or everything that other people are doing and i'm not saying this in a judgmental way in a critical way it's just i really feel like it's like we may see people um 
like influencers and everything. And it's like, oh, I have a vegan diet or, oh, I have a paleo diet. And it's like, great for you. It works for you. But that doesn't mean that it works for other people. And, you know, I am vegan. So, you know, I'm allowed to say this. But uh, it, it doesn't mean that it works for you. And there are some things that perhaps are not that good for your body. And a vegan diet is definitely not for everyone. So um, don't force yourself to put yourself through things that don't really align with you and you don't really want to do it. Um, and that you are clearly seeing that is not having a good positive effect on your body. Um, because, you know, especially with uh, exercise, for example, sometimes we do have to push ourselves a little bit to get ourselves there. Uh, and we may not always want to do it, but it's healthy and it, it does this good. But I feel like you may be doing some things that doesn't really fit your body and doesn't really align with your best possible lifestyle, you know? So I feel like you're getting a lot of clarity until the end of the year, and that is definitely a blessing that is coming for. Um, but yeah, we also have, oh, look at that, we have prosperity. So definitely that is one of your blessings. We have justice. And it's so interesting how like in this justice card, she's like, look at me, I'm like a bad, <laughs> I'm a badass. And I feel like this is kind of you, you know, you're kind of glowing and you're kind of coming out of the water and just, you're coming out of the water renewed, you know, has a different version of yourself, has a new person. Um, so that's really positive. We, all, oh, we also have blessings. Nice. So blessings card and a blessing reading. Uh, that's very positive. So I really feel like this is just the beginning for an abundance of blessings coming your way. And I feel like this end of the year, especially this realization of what is good for you and what is not in your lifestyle, in your diet, in your habits, in the things that you're holding on to and the cycles that you're putting an end to, you know, people that you're holding on to. The second you start letting those things go and you start listening more to yourself, to your heart, to your body, that is the moment that these blessings truly start to come forward. You start, I feel like you start having more energy to tackle every single thing that you want to do in your career and you start climbing that ladder. Um, I feel like you also start becoming you're already attractive and I feel like when you start listening to your body you become even more attractive because now you're confident that you were able to take care of yourself and you're confident that man I'm I'm a hottie I'm a badass <laughs> you know and I really feel that that is going to be the just like the beginning stage of all the blessings in your life so yeah I definitely feel like there's something health related uh here so definitely pay attention to that okay but I, I'm also hearing renewed so I definitely feel like the biggest blessing is going to be you, which is a great blessing to have. Let's see. Let's pull some terror into this. Oh my goodness. Definitely. The biggest blessing is going to be you. We have the freaking Empress. This is you definitely stepping into your throne and becoming your best version possible. I did see the sun card. So a lot of happiness is coming through. We have the four of swords. Yep. We have the eight of cups. Let's get two more before I start talking. We actually have three. That is okay. So we have the, yeah, nice. We have the five of wands, we have the four of cups, and then we have the new moon. This is you. This is you being reborn. This is you going through a big, massive transformation and coming out as this empress. You're really listening to your body. You're really connecting with your body and you're really like becoming your best possible version. I know I'm repeating myself, but I, I feel like I need to make that clear. It's like your authentic self is the most beautiful self and the most shiny, like the shiniest, the happiest, the brightest, the biggest version of you, okay? So I even feel like for some of you, you may even get into like, oh, I'm just gonna, like this four of swords is giving me like cutting social media vibes. And I'm just, I know I'm gonna go through a little social detox, maybe even like a literal physical detox. And you're starting fresh, you're, you're renewing yourself. And you're definitely seeing a lot of transformation from that. And what happens is that I feel like you're actually going to have a lot of energies coming your way. I feel like there are a lot of people fighting for you, fighting for your attention, be it clients, be it businesses being um uh, I, i'm also getting like suitors I, I feel like someone specifically from the past could be coming back i'm not sure if you're into that person anymore to be honest but i do feel like they get really attracted to your renewed energy you know 
And uh, I mean, no wonder when you're raising your vibration, it attracts everyone, higher vibrations and lower vibrations. And I do feel like you have a lot of people fighting for your attention, lots of opportunities. And I feel like it's just going to be very important for you to know which is good for you and which is not, where to place your energy and where to not place it, okay? But I feel like that is a little issue, perhaps even more for 2023. Um, I actually feel like it could happen before the end of the year, but um, I feel like your focus should definitely be about finding your way, you know? Because even here, we, we have here in Perseverance uh, the motivation to keep going despite the odds. And here we have two plagues going this way. And then you have one going this way. And I feel like you could be following this too, but I don't think it's the right one for you, you know? And I feel like you know what is the best thing for you and you know what you need to do. You just, I feel like you really just have to listen to yourself, listen to your body, listen to your soul. And with this justice, I definitely feel like it could be attached to this past person and that ending of the, cha of the chapter, ending of the cycle, ending of the healing is that you could finally be getting your justice and perhaps rejecting someone that rejected you, um, something like that and you're like becoming a badass and that person is like super into into you and really wants you and now you're like honey i'm sorry but no not happening um so i really feel like you're just elevating and you're becoming a body you know so congrats congrats i mean you have freaking attractive so your i feel like your physical energy especially it's gonna be like off charts well done very well done um, and in hence, you know, because you're feeling so uh, attractive and so confident and your physical body is looking pretty damn good, um, I feel like your mental health also improves a lot. For sorts, you could even start meditating, you know, talking about habits. Um, and I even feel like this could even be talking about like you, you could have tried to meditate before but you were trying a very specific way and there are a bunch of different types of meditation and not all of them work with you um and you know not every not all of them work with specific people um for example i have a friend that has tried uh guided meditation and it just doesn't work it, they, they just can't and guided meditation for me for example it's like ah heaven <laughs> you know so it could be something like that you know it's like try different things don't be afraid to fail don't be afraid to make mistakes because it's through those mistakes that you're going to find yourself and you're going to find the things that do work for you okay and if you need to go on a vegan diet to figure out oh it's not really for me go maybe you will actually find out that oh it's actually quite for me you know it's just do it because you feel called to do it not because people tell you to do it you know, and I'm even seeing this card with the cat, uh, speak your truth, have strength, faith, and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. It's like, um, oh yeah, and we even have nurture with a polar bear, allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. So there's this thing of like, nurture yourself and listen to yourself and your body has the key. Your body has the truth. So speak your truth, okay, through your body. Listen to it, respect it, go with it, okay? Because that is really going to um, bring you forward. And I'm even getting, when it comes to career and this prosperity and everything, if you feel cold, it, uh, I'm, I'm getting like, don't get too attached to a specific schedule. Um, I don't know, because it could be that someday, especially if you work for yourself, that is a bit easier to control. But if you feel cold to like, one day you feel really inspired to do something creative, don't ignore that. Please don't, you know? And you could have this thing of, oh, but my schedule says that I should be doing this and that and the other. If it can wait, postpone it okay and go towards that creative project okay because it's really going to bring you you're going to be in the right energy towards that and it's really going to bring you the abundance and prosperity okay um and the other way around also is uh valid so i really feel like your biggest blessing is that you're going to start listening to yourself you're going to start listening to your body because of it you're you're not becoming attractive you're seeing yourself as attractive because you're already attractive but you're seeing yourself as such and with that comes a lot of mental health a lot of peace a lot of tranquility a lot of prosperity and abundance and fulfillment and you're becoming this empress whether you're a male or female it doesn't matter you're just really honing into that female energy and feminine energy and um you're attracting a lot of good opportunities you're definitely putting an end to a cycle here getting some justice on that and like new life baby new life so, pond number four, this was lovely. 
I hope it resonated. Hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and to subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. You can also take a look at my other channel, The Sunny Virgo, for um, zodiac cusps and zodiac sign readings. And if you're interested in a private reading, the link is going to be down below in the description box. Okay? So I love you very much. I wish you the best. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.